the highlights here at the Gathering of Nations is this right here, the singing, the dancing, and the drumming. And while Indigenous people are doing this to share their culture, they're also remembering and honoring those missing and murdered. For Native Americans, music can be a way to speak on many issues. I think each and every one of our communities has been touched by it in one way or another. It's, it's a reality for us. Like missing and murdered Indigenous people, a problem that's been prevalent in those communities for centuries. That's why people like Fawn Wood are bringing awareness. For her, that's through her own song, Remember Me. If there's anything that I can uh, contribute to the movement, I'm really glad that it's that song. Meanwhile, others choose a form of public speaking. You gotta be safe, even as a, a young woman and your sisters, we're, there's a big issue, we're going missing. Chrissy Wildcat is a contestant for Miss Indian World, but her influence goes back even further when she attended the University of Wyoming. We got together and we wrote a legislation. We wrote a proclamation deeming May 5th to be Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls Awareness Day. Then there's people like Lisa Miches. She produces a Canadian TV show called Taken, which focuses on finding young women and girls in hopes of preventing unsolved cases and educating future generations. I really believe that starting our, our young women off at an early age to realize that they are of, of value and that there are issues out there, dangerous folks that are out there. Reporting in Albuquerque, Brianna Albizu, KOAT Action 7 News.